Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name's Barry. And I'm Jay. I forgot who I was then. And together we are Matisse Craft. Welcome to our channel. We're independent stamping up demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, Netherlands, Belgium or Ireland, you'll be able to purchase kind of up products from our online shop. Do use the current host code which can be found on our website at mitosucrafts.com to receive a handmade card from a supplying month or any extra gifts if you order qualifies in the form of tutorial bundles designed by the Crafty Collaborations and Global Creative Project which is a video and PDF tutorial bundle. Um, we give away the projects that we create so don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, comment and share our videos to your crafty friends. It would be amazing. Uh, you will need to be subscribed to our channel before you can comment during the live to be able to put to be put into the random draw so don't forget to subscribe first lovely so um we're going to be or jay's crafting again this evening and he's going to be crafting his um second card which he made for what was it for again the artisan for the project. artisan project so he's going to be creating the i'm going to show you the diorama card which he created there so it's going to show you how that was made um, but before we do that, we are going to say hi to some people and then we're going to give away this card here, which is the second card, first card Jay made, or the only card Jay made actually, on Sunday, wasn't it? So yeah, this is the original one. This is, yeah, so we're going to give that one away then. Um, so let's say hi to a few people. Once we've done that, we give it away. So the link is in the top of the live chat at the moment. So it's pinned to the very top. So if you would like to... Um, to have a quick comment you can quickly click that link and we'll say hi to a few people so i will hand you over to to jay now i know the first part oh, that's it yeah that's fine yeah so yeah. we have amanda hello sandra kisha hello nani shasha um charlotte hiya Gian, hello we also have valerie lavinia vicky hello vicky uh, Lois, Mary, Valerie, Maureen, um, we also have Lisa, hello to Connie, Mary, Krista, our moderator at the Stamping Nook, so she is uh, highlighted in blue, uh, so sh she'll be helping us moderate the comments and answering your questions or posting links, so look out for those as well, thank you so much Krista. Uh, Susan, Pauline, Wendy, Lisa, hi Lisa, Joanna, and Rose, and Lovely. Susan, and Janice, um, hi. They're all <laughs> coming in quickly. There we go. So, um, good. So we're going to give away a card. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we are going to then, or Jay's going to craft for you his, um, his diorama card for you tonight. I think it's a diorama card. That's what we decided yeah. it was anyway. So. It's a lovely yeah. card. It's a floral one. Yes. Surprise, surprise. So let's go over to that and then we will then pick a winner. So good luck, everyone. So let's see if we had any new comments in there. Yes, we had a couple more come in. So let's have a little look. The winner is going to be. <coughs> good luck, everyone. Jackie. Jackie Elliott, congratulations. Please email us, Barry and Jay, at matusucrafts.com. Details are on the screen right now. Um, please pop today's date, the 22nd of February, 2023, in the subject line. And your full mailing address, please, Jackie, and we will send that card over to you. So congratulations. You are the proud winner of this one right here. I love it. It's a really, really nice card. So um, some lovely techniques made on this one as well um so yeah so i hope you enjoy that like that card and that's going to be yours as well so congratulations please email us jackie and we will get that one over to you as soon as possible well, i'm going to hand you over to jay now where he's going to show you how he made this yeah diorama card bouncing wow, wow. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> it's got a mouth <sighs> lovely enjoy cool so yes, by now hopefully you know Two Tone Flora is from the Fancy Flora Suite, uh, available from our online shop. Um, and the suite has got two stamp set, the Two Tone Flora with coordinating dies that cuts out the images, as well as the Something Fancy with the coordinating dies as well. In the same suite you have the 
Fancy Floor DSP, which is lovely acrylic paint, I would say. Um, very textured painting, but obviously in photographic form, <laughs> in paper form. Double sided, and you have the pastel gems as well as the ribbon. I'll just get them. That one and this one. Iridescent pastel gems. There we go. So we will start off with a bit of stamping just because there's quite a few stamping and um, I have gone ahead and stamped them but I haven't die cut them. So I did ask Barry beforehand to die cut them. I'll be doing the same colors and using the same DSP and whilst Barry's cutting I will um, construct a card or yes. So for the flowers, the colors that I will be using are Mango Melody and Pumpkin Pie, just the two colors, uh, because with the two-step stamping of the images, you can stamp off um, second generation technique, uh, which is great, you can do that. And for the flowers and flourishes, I have Pool Party, Soft Sea Foam, and Night of Navy. So it's the same colors as the previous cards. I've only got a small piece of basic white card here just because I'm just gonna stamp um, the different colors but I, I will show you how many I've done so for the the largest stamp that or flower that I'm using is this one which is so the flowers I'll be using is this one so coordinating uh, inner filler insert detail stamp <laughs> is that one uh, the small one there and the bunch there and for the leaves that one and the flowers that one so for the big flower we'll just put that in so pumpkin pie stamp that on and then mango melody for the insert so this is the darkest flower I think that's juicy so juicy and just align the holes in the middle if you can oops sorry my head <laughs> and it should lighten as um, it dries so I did that in the big one and the small one also for the next one let's have a look where's the chamois just take that off so yeah i did the three flowers like that so the bunch and the small flower and then i did a second generation for the bunch as well two times and this time I'm just gonna use mango melody so first generation and then stamp off for the full stamp so mango melody just align again the center of the flowers and you get a lighter shade so I did that twice for that shade there and then the rest the leaves were just done in um, first generation pool party soft no yeah soft sea foam and night of navy so I'll just do a couple whilst I'm here So really quick and easy stamping um, and then pull party. Hi Betty B. So we've got Janice Adams, we've got Elaine, we've got Alice, Betty B and Betty H. Hello, thank you so much. 
Are you juicy? It seems very snowy where a lot of people are. But there's a lot of blizzards and cold weather going on. And um, so stay safe, everyone. Yes. Keep warm. Because it's so juicy, you can see it bubbles a little bit. So I don't know if you have that. I've just spread the ink and then it does spread out the ink and it should stamp a lot smoother but a lot lighter cool so i will show you yeah i'll just quickly show uh, so this is all the stamping that i've done um, so the full color of ink in those three second generation um, stamp off technique for those three and then again just normal colors i did four in soft sea foam and three in pool party and knight of navy in there so the co coordinating dies from the two-tone flora I will stamp that. so that one the leaves that's the only thing with the leaves um maybe they should have done more than one um but hey ho uh can't complain at least they've done a die right and i believe that is it you can use the big one if you want yeah i'm gonna oh, okay cool so while sparrow's doing that i can cut some cardstock did i clean that one <laughs> that's how i know <laughs> that's how i check uh, yes, so for the cardstock, it's basic white thick, which I have pre-cut and I do have measurements somewhere. Let's just do this. Um, paper trimmer or simply scored, I am working in inches or I'll be working in inches but I'll share the measurements in metric as well. So this one basic thick is six and a half. Ooh. Yeah, six and a half by five and five eighths of an inch, or that is 16.5 by 14.3 centimeters just because that's the front and then the sides as well as the tab you can score it with the paper trimmer but i'm gonna use the simply scored i'll just get it out i just find it's easier this way But if you are using the paper trimmer, just be careful and make sure that it's actually it's on the line and it's very accurate. Um, so the scoring for this one is three eighths of an inch, um, three quarters of an inch, and one one eighth of an inch. So you just need to do that on both sides. So turn it around. 180 long edge yeah long edge so three eighths three quarters one one eighth or that is one centimeters two centimeters or three centi and three centimeters so it's one two three for both sides and you should have can you see yes like that I will need to cut my card backing no. and the SP. Okay. That's fine. Barry, um, move. The guy moved. <laughs> so I'm just going to stamp that again. Shall I do two just in case? Yes, please. Hi, Alice. Hi, Hi, Rose. 
Susan Wormley and Nancy Amato. Hello, hello. So another basic white thick. So it's gonna be just a tad slimmer than the middle area here, which should be four and a quarter by five five eighths or ten point eight by 14.3 so it just needs to be um, slightly slimmer so if I do 10.5 should be enough it just because when you fold the sides uh, you don't want it to hit this card what did I say before 10.8 okay 10.8 yeah three So 10.5 or 418 um, and it should be the same height as this one so that's 558 or 14.8 so for the DSP um, there's four of the same design per pack so I should have three more here somewhere. We are using this for the next thing gathering, I believe. And we're doing a fancy fold. Ooh. So for those of, um, of you who've joined our team, you'll be um, joining us for the team gathering, hopefully, in March. It's the first Tuesday of the month. Um, we normally have our team gathering. So that one I will do probably the same. I, ju I just need to cover it. It is like paper, so it hasn't got much weight to it. So that's why we're backing it with the basic white. Uh, did I do it edge to edge? I think I did. Yeah. So I'll just do the same measurement as this one, 10.5. by five five eight and if you'd love to join our team it's the best time to join our team during celebration until 28th of february because there is the super offer super super offer um 125 pounds um to get 175 pounds worth of products as well as the mini cut emboss machine or 99 pounds for 175 pounds worth of products so amazing sorry Barry can you as well yeah. thank you so now we have those cards I will do some um, die cutting myself as well um, but before that I'll just gonna fold these up before I cut I cut it so it is considered in a fold so the ones closer just needs to go in thank you and use your bone folder now I'm I'm folding this before I die cut it just because when we die cut the detail die for the front it's just easier to actually have the creases and folds already in place because otherwise you it'll be um, you might bend there's more chance of you bending the card front that way so this way at least it's kind of like folded already hi Lizzie hello Patricia So that is now done and then we can do that again so I'll stick this down now whilst I'm waiting I can use the mini actually that's fine right, 
literally using the DSP as a background. It's quite a nice DSP because it's dark at the bottom and um, lighter on top. Now I'll show off the mini because mini mini. <laughs> I don't know why I was doing that. I need to open it first. Burr. Cool. So this is option two, I believe, with the white mini. Option one is the boho blue for joining. Fancy, something fancy, guys. I think the plates I might have left in the. So with this one, we're gonna create a frame using these two dies. Is it the small one? In Night of Navy. Thank you. That's done. Thank you. So I'll just get Night of Navy card. Uh, it is a neutral. Hi Marlene. Yes, the, the flowers are really beautiful in this one and you can easily color it because it's a uh, kind of like the stamp is solid. Solid as a flower. <laughs> right, let us do some of that. I think I need two of these. So just lay it down. We had an in-person um, class last night and most did have a problem with the mini but I think they were aligning the top plate um, quite further out so if you do have problems just push it in further out so then it catches on the roller first and you do need to push it in with your left hand and then turn the handle soon as it catches hold the handle on the top and then support it and then turn your roller and that's uh, I would say is the easiest way to do it because sometimes if all of your plates are together and either if your dies are too close to the top or too close to the bottom sometimes it won't catch or if your plates are really buckly <laughs> buckly <laughs> what's it called bumpy um, it might be too thick uh, it won't it won't go in so hopefully that makes sense and um, hopefully that helps someone with their um, die cutting with the mini so I'll just get another I knew I needed an, a bigger one Knight of Navy just I'm just using off cuts okay. warp <laughs> is it a time warp <laughs> There we go. Right. 
I think I did more than two, but two should be enough. When I was designing it, um, I was just playing around, so I was kind of like, okay. So that is done, uh, but of course we are going to need to die cut the detail die, so it won't go through the mini because it is not wide enough. Right, I will just fold it up and put it on a trolley. And get the big one. So with this one, because we have scored it as well, you won't have much give to make it angled, but still try to uh, angle your card and your die just so that it hopefully it will go through. And because it is scored, you kind of like have a guide of where to place your die cut, your die even. I think that looks okay. Fingers crossed. You may need a shim or run it through a couple of times. But we will see. Give it some welly, as Barry would say. All right, and the way to double check is turn it upside down. And you can see if it's a solid line, it should be die cut. I can see there that that's slightly not cut through. So I just need to add a shim there, um, either a piece of scrap paper or even a sticky note might sometimes would be enough. So I'll just put that back in, I'll just keep a note, so up there, if I do it that way, I have a sticky note here. Fingers crossed. Where are we? Yes, that is that is a good point, um, Charlotte. If the colors are too close in the tone, that's why like stamping off is a good um, way of doing two-tone as well so now you can see that it's a lot uh, hopefully you can see it's a lot clearer the cut through and I believe that is all that I cut on let's just put this away We showed these to the ladies and they were like, oh, that's amazing. So take your big tool brush extension, something. So it's an add-on to the take your big tool. I don't put it on the take your big tool. <laughs> you can still hold it, it's fine. Um, but yes. Or if you have to take your picto, you could always have it on that, I guess. I, I think I did buy a second one. <laughs> Just because the other one, we, we use it all the time, that um, it's kind of a bit funky. But yeah, so once you know that everything's been cut through, all of these papers and uh, or card should come off really easily. 
and you have shake a card. No. <laughs> I would. I would. <laughs> I, I, I've been tempted, but I. I So yes, and if it doesn't come out, you you always have the pick tool as well. But once that is done, there you go. Ah, I forgot. See, we still have to die cut the aperture, don't we? There you go. Yeah. Just have to make space for Tommy. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So yes, yeah, so take your pick tool. There's a couple of areas that I missed, but it's normally okay. okay. So if you place a tape or a sticky note on there, just keep that together for the two frames as well as you can use it for actually I only need the, out, the outer one the inside one so no I won't oh <laughs> hi mini now I got a mini on <laughs> I only need that first one. So yeah, so keep it together so you both frames are the same. Careful putting stuff on the keyboard. Oh sorry. <laughs> Is it doing stuff? And we'll cut through. So with the, in, the smallest out of the two, where are you going? just place that on. Again, I'm just going to eyeball it. How did I do it on the last time here? So for the last time I had my outer frame there, so about there. And just make sure. I can't see Mini, sorry, I have to stand up. Oh. I think that's right. Get as straight as you can, hopefully straight on the line. And then just die cut. Come on. Whee! Oh look, that's nice. So now we have our aperture made and the die cut. Bear with me a second. All right. So now that's done, we're just gonna, um, if you have any sticky, residue take your pick tool uh, and now we can re um, pull pre burnish our score lines and it's a lot easier because it's already pre-folded and scored pre-scored and pre-folded oh big time yes big time on the DSP looks um, amazing as well Susan Cool. So that is now done. Uh, I'm just going to do the same sentiment. Um, congratulations from 
because it's such a small window. Now you can create a larger window as well, but it I didn't. So, <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna do congratulations. But the the dice will fit larger sentiments or even tall sentiments like that. So that's quite nice. But we'll do congratulations because one of you will win this card. And that is white embossed on crumb cake. Oh, yes, please, Susan. That would be amazing to see. So that is just going to get prepared with the embossing body. Huh? Oh hi Jessel Dazzle Craft with Janice. Yes, hope you're well. Um Bursa Mark. Stamp on and sprinkle. White, are you white? Yeah. And then heat, emboss to set. All right, I'm just gonna use it now. Cover your ears. So I'm just gonna clean, <coughs> sit down. <laughs> <coughs> and then use another die from the set. Just put that on there for now. I did have another idea with these in um I want to make them more prominent in a card, but I have yet to do them. Where did I put them? Oh I did take it out earlier, didn't I? Oops. I did it again. It it should be how many song reference I can do in one in one live, isn't it, Betty? <laughs> Who won last month? Did I win? Huh? I'll be happy if I did. <laughs> I, I like winning. <laughs> I'm not a sore loser at all. <laughs> um, I... A while, Wendy. I tend to... play around with it. With the colors of the flowers, I, I couldn't decide, and I ended up just using the blue 
uh, because obviously the the SP had lots of different colors in it so I tried it in Fresh Freesia because I didn't know what the SP was going to use first or I wanted to go, go away from blue but I ended up using blue in the in the end because I just love blue um, so yeah so I was playing around with different colors for the leaves and the flowers and then I die cut so I tend to craft and then leave it aside so yeah so it did take the project did take a long time in in sense of days as in because I just I just left it um, I have a pot um, that I just put stuff for on the table and then Barry puts in a pot <laughs> lucky me <laughs> Barry sharking uh, so yes I, I think that's it I think that's everything cool so we have our card frames and everything Okay, so let's construct. So it's really easy. Um, I don't think I even tapered that one. So we're just gonna construct. So for the frame, just make sure we are the same way. Because sometimes it's, it is slightly off. It's not completely 100%. So if you know that it's the correct way. So that I'm gonna stick down first. So then that kind of like um, strengthen that area there. And I believe, yeah, I did, I did do three. I only did two, that's fine. So blue. Actually, I'll do it, I'll do it this way. Oh, maybe I should have done three. <laughs> Barry, <laughs> can you die cut me a third frame, please? Third frame. Yeah, just because I want it to look nice. <laughs> <laughs> so if I put it back in, I knew I should have done three. Why are you walking? Uh, paper in Knight of Navy. Gonna take that one. Which one did you die Knight of Navy, this frame. That should be enough. Yeah, there we go. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> because, um, Obviously, if you add, Tombow is two-way glue. If you add glue there and stick it down from the front, it'll be sticky at the back. So I did back it. That's why, if that makes sense. Well, hopefully it does. Where is my paper? So that outline should be the same. See, look. Thank you, see that was quick. And then for this one, I'm just gonna back it. And you can just do two, but I like the idea of the flowers um, coming in and out of the frame. So that's why I did three originally. And this one can then be added on top. Now, if you can see a bit of the white on there you you can cut it or get a dark knight of navy before you stick it down and just color in the edges so you can't see it because it is a bit distracting sometimes and I, um in the original card i did do this after i stuck everything down but it's easier to Add the frame. Add the frame whilst obviously you can see the outline of it. Can I see? Preferably, preferably, preferably before you add the glue on the top because 
sometimes it doesn't color it as well so that is I think now done can I see white it's just the small details that can elevate your card making it's a bit of an effort but why not there we go so that one so now it's dry it's probably need just need a bit of more glue a bit pop blobby there just because once it's dry it, it can be it it still sticks but it's just makes it more it makes it repositionable that's why it's a two-way glue but then that means it might come off so there we go that is now added on and I can't see white I can see white there I think that was from the tissue so now that is done we can just add our backing so with this one that's gonna get hidden but oh. so whilst that's done I'm gonna add the back so with the back you're just literally gonna add it oh, upside down and hide the tab at the back like that um, you can add another layer of card if you don't like that that way and you I couldn't insert it inside just because you will be able to see it um, there's not enough space on there now you can make it wider if you want a, a larger border uh, that would work as well but with this one I just literally just plonked it in the middle uh, it is slightly smaller than the original um, width so you just need to add glue can I have a better glue here that one? to the outside round the outside round the outside So not too bubbly a bit of pressure but don't squeeze it if it's not um, if it's too full or not full if you drag it down just make sure it is nice and level probably at the bottom would be better and as you can see there Just hold it down and because it is smaller um, it doesn't matter if it's over to the right or to the left a bit more it's not small enough to not fit the gap so it's still wide enough to catch on both sides just use a bone folder just to make sure that that has caught and you basically have your card there already so it's just a matter of um, decorating so this one I'm gonna add there I did do it in a foam pad or dimensionals can I do it that way you could I could have added this before but again it's easier to align it kind of like centrally around the frame once it's already stuck and 
plus if you have the addi um, embossing addition store kit that's a bit wonky donkey um, you do have the tweezers as well in there to help you out so we have the other frame but before we add that we can stick down our flowers so that's gonna go there you can shape your what is this <laughs> leaves um, with scissors just on the outside And because of that large um, flower there, I wanted to hide it because it was too overpowering, I think. And the Knight of Navy kind of like makes it look like it's part of the die cut. Well, I think it is. <laughs> it looked like it did. Um, that one is going to be... Mary's just asked a question. Please. Yeah. Uh, what is the size of the cardstock before you scored it? So I it is six and a half by five five eighths of an inch. So it's slightly bigger, um, slightly taller than the US normal card size, um, <coughs> and slightly wider than the A4 metric card size if that makes sense um, card front even the size of the card front uh, or that is 16.5 by 14.3 centimeters oh yes please do Janice Yes, Janice is on YouTube, so do check out her channel as well. And Barry, at some point, will be joining back the <laughs> stuff around UK. <laughs> You're giving me evils, Barry. <laughs> what? Um, right. With the ribbon, um, I wanted to use the ribbon and. Uh, it was already too detailed, so I thought I'll just use a banner. So um, I'm just gonna cut it down. I think that's long enough. I could always cut it down again later. And mini glue dot. Yeah, it's still stuck. Okay, that's fine. Um, sorry. Sorry, every now and again, I have to um, silence the mic. Um, so yeah, so we're just gonna add these on. So you you don't want to be adding glue willy nilly. <laughs> Um, so you do have willy-nilly uh, all over your elements uh, just kind of like use the card what why are you laughing at me <laughs> Nelly um, hot here <laughs> so anyway uh, <laughs> because obviously it's a two-tone uh, um, what it's a two-way glue you don't want it sticky so I am just adding glue onto the frame and then sticking my elements to those hold it and then because you have that you can kind of like 
insert it or add the glue just underneath so with these ones add glue on the top so then you're sticking it onto the card um, element press it count two three four five six seven no. there we go and then that one ooh, I want you in between it doesn't matter but I wanted the tiny bit poking out <laughs> so that's done I can add my outer frame so it's coming out in and out of there Ooh, shall I no I'll just do it normally So it is kind of like three layers of frame, frameage, but I think it's nice. And then I'm just going to add that onto that there. Originally it was on dimensional. I'm just going to add it on. There we go. And then we have this one up here, but I'm going to add the leaves at ooh, blob at the back already soft sea foam and import party before sticking that down and before I stick that down I can add my Thing there. Oh, I should have done it underneath. That one. I'll just do it on top. Uh, glue dot, glue dot, glue dot. Uh, I'll find it. I had to write down. <laughs> I think you can. Can you normally um, click on someone's name on the chat and can you find their details that way I'm just yes. I, I'm not sure if you click the if you hover over somebody's name there's three dots on the right hand side of that person's name if you click on that and then you can then go to chat it's got an option to go to channel ah there you go so so yes you can find people so yes, that, so way. You can do it that way I do like this coming out so I've just added the mini glue dot on top so I can insert it in that way still got a bit of stickiness there that I can use yes that works hold that down For five and then finally this side so this one's quite good because it's got a big area of white and then just add oh did I use that did I only do two? Oh no, there's one. Woo. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I need another one. Right, this one I think I can't. Just to change it up. Why not? Maybe it doesn't work. Does it not work? No, maybe it's because we're obviously on our channel. Oh, because we're on our channel. I see. Because Charlotte's saying it doesn't do it for her. Remove or block. Oh. Okay. Don't block. Don't block people. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to add this on. If I do that in the middle, I can insert 
which I sometimes do I just add glue in one area so then I can just insert on the um, round the outside round the outside <laughs> that's another song um, this one there so I can actually do it there so yeah I'm just trying to cover up that huge flower and then finally one more Maybe it work, okay. Just into our okay, maybe because we're logged in, Barry said that yeah, we can do our, it. Uh, moderator thing, it might be different. Ooh. Copy okay. and paste. Copy and paste. <laughs> and then finally, this too, and then we can finish up, and then Barry can come over. And we can do a winner draw. There's other colors of DSP you can use as well. Let me know what you chose. I couldn't think of any other colors. I was like, I'll just do the same. So that is that. And then finally, the pastel iridescent pastel gems. I think I used the blue balmy blue I did save some red Ooh, we'll go with red <laughs> I just had it out I think that was from a class that I didn't use why not a eh? so I think it's red I don't know what it's called already it's calypso coral maybe so just hiding Peeking. <laughs> Cat hair. There and one more. If I put that back, there we go. And there we go. That is the second card or first card hopefully in, you enjoyed that I've just seen Wendy's last comment she had to watch us with earphones because if she hears our cats her cats start growling oh, oh no <laughs> sorry so yes so the only difference really is my pastel gems the same way that I did uh, if you want to take a screenshot I did write down um, the measurements there there um, if you can decipher, his decipher writing. my writing um, what's that they come and read it <laughs> <laughs> what's that how do you expect people to understand it? imperial uh, metric of the card front uh, and then the back but slightly smaller for that one because that's the, the size of the actual card front there so so yes i can i think i can add that onto the i did do um a post i think so I, i'll add it onto the blog post um for that and put in the videos so then you can have pictures and i guess video tutorial and uh, measurements so yes i I've done some cards today, but they're not today. Oh, we can. Sh do you want to show the in-person class that we did? Yeah, you can show that. Whilst Barry's adding your names, so yes, uh, we did the EC stepper cards in person um, with. What is this set called? Sorry, uh, rainy days, isn't it? Oh, rainy days and Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I don't know where you put it. You tied it up, didn't you? So <laughs> I thought I put it away. Anyway, the sweet is rain or shine. 
but the turtle. I, I was like the bar, did you color that? He <laughs> sounded so shocked. <laughs> because it looked like the DSP, doesn't it? It comes with the DSP that he used for that. And I was just like, that's really nice coloring. But I did copy, I, well, I did it the same colors as the DSP, well, it, so. So it's, it's still really nice. So it's the easy stepper card um, for our um, ladies. Thank you so much for um, inviting us to your home. And the second card using the Dandy Design DSP from Celebration and um, Celebrating You stamp set, which is the sentiment stamp. And the butterfly, we haven't used the butterfly for a while uh, with the glimmer and just offsetting that or layering that on top of vellum just to kind of like um, diffuse the design of the DSP. I really like that. Um, yes, lovely. So, um, so yes, yeah, so I, I might make those again for you and show you how I made those next yeah. time. We will see. But we cool. are now ready. Are you ready? So, good luck. The winner is going to be... Good luck, everyone. And the winner is... Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Joanna again. <coughs> Is that two? Is that two? Wow! In a row? You have the set, right? You do have the set, I think, because you won the last one as well, didn't Amazing. you? Amazing! So congratulations, there, Joanna. That card is going to be coming to you. So details are on the screen. Please make sure you email us, Barry and Jay at Matusi Crafts, for both cards, because um, it's just the way I format it. Um, please pop today's date, the twenty second of February, twenty twenty three, in the subject line and your full mailing address, please, Joanna. And that card is going to be working its way over to you. Congratulations. Yay. Well done. Look at that. Oh, and right on cue. Here he is. Pokes <laughs> his, oh, no, you can't see him. Pokes his head right up in the middle. So I might give you the Heidi one, Joanna, just because you're in the UK. Yeah, the Heidi ones are a bit the easier to send the when they're in the UK because they don't cost us too as much. So, good. Yes, go and do the lottery, but if you do win, please share us a little bit, please. Yeah. So, um, excellent. Tommy has come in to say hello. Hello, Tommy. Meow. <laughs> Lovely, excellent. So, thank you very much for joining us. We do hope you have enjoyed that this evening. Um, we will be back with you again on Sunday night. Yes. Same time, same place. And, um, yes, thank you very much. Yes, take care, everyone. Thank you so much. Don't forget to share and comment on the replay. That will be amazing. See you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.